Hello, this time we're going to be looking at how to create a custom HTML interface for the Domotics platform. Now this is by far the most uh, popular entry in my blog so far and a lot of people have asked me for the code for my custom HTML front end for Domotics. So I'm going to go through the principles um, step by step and this will be a multiple video guide. So this is the very first one. And in this one, we're just going to be looking at the very basics. We're going to look at how to speak to Demotics through an HTML platform. Eventually, we'll be looking at how to build up the HTML into something that can be used in the home, either on a fixed panel or both on a fixed panel and on mobile devices. And we'll look at how we can use CSS and HTML to create something that is beautiful and also incredibly custom and perfect for your individual smart home. So I've set up a quick HTML page here, which has got a couple of um, a couple of sections, lights and devices, and I've just set some divs up underneath here with some buttons for different lights and devices. Um, I'll put the code of this on my uh, blog, and I'll in I'll send the uh, I'll put the link in the comments. But um, this is the simple bit, just to create um, a very simple, simplistic look at um, how this could how it could work. But I think the most important thing to show you is um, how you link these buttons then to Demotics to control the devices. Notice at the moment I'm just doing a discrete button for each individual function. So for example on desk lamp I've got max and off and for dehumidifier I've got on and off. Uh, eventually in the next uh, set of um, videos I'll show you how to combine them together so you can just toggle the switch with, uh, with one button and it will actually update depending on the status of the device. So I've flicked over now to Demotics because I want to find what the what the what's called the IDX or the um, identity of the uh, particular devices that I want to control. The first one being my lamp. So if I go into settings and devices, this is an easy way of finding what the IDX is because you'll need that as part of the string which you're going to send to Demotics to switch the device on or off. So if I have a look in here, look at desk light. Okay, so this is the one I'm looking for for 594. So I just all I have to do is remember that it's 594. Here's the HTML that I've created, and uh, it's only a very small piece because it's a, it's a small snippet, really, of, um, of, a, of a, web, a much larger website, obviously, that will build up over time. But um, as I said before, you can download this from my uh, blog. I'll put the link in the description below. The main things to look at are that we've got the f facility to switch on something through Demotics, switch it off, toggle it, or dim it, and uh, you send through the um, a device code from um, from when it's called, and um, that is entered into here. So that's where we got the uh, 594 from when I just looked up that particular switch. Um, so it basically sends through to the Demotics URL, which is specified up here in the, in uh, as a variable, and to the Demotics um, port, which you may need to manually change that. If you've decided to do a diff to use a different port than the um, than the default one that Demotics is installed with, uh, and then it just sends through a command basically um, f uh, for one for on, uh, one for off, one for toggle, and one to set a, a dim level if your uh, light is capable of being dimmed. Of course, you need to tell Demotics when you've um, entered the device into Demotics that it is capable of dimming if you want to use this. Uh, this command. The only other thing to show you down here is how it's called. So what I've got down here is I've just got some um, button uh, a button down here with max 75 percent 50 etc and you basically when you've clicked that it calls the function so it's calling that that particular function. Interestingly enough um, just as an aside this lamp is a Philips Hue white lamp so it doesn't have colour capability and in order to for some reason in Demotics to dim that to the maximum level you use 16 the number 16 there to uh, to dim it to maximum and um, likewise obviously for 50% it would be 8 and 25 it would be 4 etc and then for uh, other lamps which are the Hue uh, colour and white ambience 
then they use the 100% as a, as a maximum, 75, 50, and 25. Just as an aside, you may find that useful when you're uh, putting, putting your own devices together. So that's basically it for um, for the code. There isn't much there at all at the moment. So if you want to download that and have a play, then please do. Um, and I'll just quickly give you a demo of what it looks like with what I've done with it. So I uploaded the files into the folder. That's all um, over on my blog. You can see the instructions on there. And this just gives you an idea of how it actually functions and how quick it works. I hope that's given you some inspiration. Next time we'll be looking at the elements of a good user interface. Please like and consider subscribing and don't forget all the details about this are available in the details below. Thanks for watching.